we fall to heaven and to earth came to acceptance. What was I? Before the heaven and the earth came to acceptance, what was I? The my friend and brother Shima. Practice meditation and the side practicing. And the practice should be follow the right practice method. In practice meditation, there are two important points for practicing that should be um, strong and enough. But the first thing that believe, the belief, strong belief in the own mind. Belief in the own mind. But I took away uh, like the part you have said that uh, belief in the own mind means non dualism, no subjective, the objective that belief in the own mind. In the process of meditation, ask the question, raising down. Raising down means that just only uh, ask the question, raising down. Don't try to find out the answer. Don't try to find out the all of the meaning of the question. Just ask the question. Add the question rising down. Exactly like the Hazen Master. Hazen, Hazen, Hazen Master said that, like the question, just like the cane and the walking, that's the down. Like the person who broken his leg, he cannot walk by their own leg. Had to use the cane, had to use the crack to walk. So that the walking is necessary for the handicapped people. Like a maintain down, that's necessary for the practitioner. Because we cannot raise in the down, we use question to raise in down. Raising down and add a question, maintaining down to ask the question. And then add, raise, add the question slowly, slowly. Add the question deliciously. When we get the full or uh, enough of the belief, the down, we maintain all the time like 24 hours to 24 hours like the patria said um like we live in our own mind at the pain in the pain and raising down maintaining down to 10 the belief 10 raising down 10 and the awakening 10 to that's the practice to add the question rising down. Again, to we take we should Good morning, dear monastic sanghas and uh, all practitioners. So, um, again, our practice is mainly based on, um, uh, about all the, the great doubts. Uh, when you have great doubts, that's when you really truly in the practice, when you really uh, head on with the um, the questions and you always consider um, the questions all the time. And when you consider uh, the questions all the time, uh, it's going to 
keep the uh the doubt in the penetration and that is gonna uh, go beyond any kind of dualities um, but if not then we still get stuck on the uh, pre huato uh the pre huato here is we still um get uh contacting with uh worldly dualities um so therefore uh, the question itself cannot create a doubt so when you truly uh practice this question and your mind turn into the the state of don't know uh in in a natural way and the question is not about try to find out anything uh, it's gonna end the uh, searching for any kind of answer um, so the doubt itself is gonna end every um, worldly knowledge and so uh, the patriarch uh, say that um the uh the the, the doubt is the uh is like uh, the automatic uh, broom uh, and this broom is automatically sweep uh anything in this way in you know in an automatically way. and this practices have to come from your own trust in the mind and if your mind is fully trust in your own practice your own self then you're able to um uh, able to penetrate into the um the great doubt so uh like the zen master uh boshan he said that when you have a hundred percent uh in trust in the mind then you're gonna have a hundred percent uh doubt and this is help us to end all the suffering in this life and many lives after um, so therefore we need to uh, continue with our practice so the practice again here is uh, we always um, keep heading into the direction of the 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 huato or the the doubt and um when you continue um penetrate into the question and it's gonna help create the doubt by itself and there is no um uh subject and object it's gonna take us go beyond the subject and object so uh so when you um try to define something uh that is something that you want to to know you want to get the answer from and the the question is basically take us to the to the unknown um state of mind and when our mind is has full of uh wondering about um the uh, the question but the question is not answerable but our mind is, is tendency is full of curiosity and we use this the patriarch uses skill um to get the mind you know keep penetrate into try to at the ask the question so that's gonna get the uh, uh the doubt itself so eventually um the question itself is gonna disappear and that's when you're gonna get the great doubt um otherwise uh we we try to find out something about the the question then you're gonna get into the uh skeptical doubt uh, so um when your question you're not able to look at it you're not able to feel it 
you're not able to um, observe in in the way of subject and object. Um, and if you still have, you know, this question as uh, object to look at, uh, then we uh, we are basically uh, on the verge of subject and object. So all the scientists um, tried to, or have already tried to find out uh, about the the beginnings of uh, human uh, evolution, and and even they go further than that. They try to find the origin, uh, originate uh, of the universe, um, universal, whereas the beginning of our universe, a uh, universe, sorry. So all this um, researches uh, based on the theories um, and scientists, they try to c come up with different theories and generation after generation try to refute each other um, theories. So therefore, um, the scientists they they're not able to use their uh, their brain or worldly knowledge uh, to seek uh, for the the absolute um, truth. Um, so um, they use this kind of skeptical doubt to find out about human uh, the beginning of human uh, revolution uh, evolution and and the the universe the beginning of the universe so um um whatever they try to find out is this still in this uh relative relativity just like albert einstein you know uh his theory that uh it is uh the the relativity uh of the universe that they only know. So therefore, practitioners need to return to ask the question before heaven and earth came into existence, what was I? And you continue to ask that question and you don't know. And you keep going ask the question again and you don't know. And you keep going and prolong that don't know mind as long as you can. Um, so the um, this great doubt is gonna eventually is gonna reach to the uh, beginning of our uh, thoughts or beginning of our ignorance, and this is uh, this practice. It needs the continuity. Um, if we don't have this continuity. Uh, it's going to be really hard to um, uh, process uh, on. And so the practice here is sometimes when we practice uh, our mind, we don't, uh, if you use this continuity, uh, we don't even know that we practice. We don't even know that we have doubt. And um, this is the the page art usually say that you know thousand years uh, with one hotto and one one hotto for thousand year and it keep going at it. Um, so the fundamental um, teaching here is um, the seeds um, is the the doubt. And the cause, I mean, the effect is that the awakening. So our practice is we go beyond the uh, the worldly understanding. So when you practice the Huato, that is when you entrance the uh, the original mind. Uh, or this is also the practice of the Avalokitesvara Bodhisattva uh, listening 
uh, skill. Uh, so when we practice this huato, we uh, actually practice the um, the Avalokitesvara uh, teaching. So um, so uh, the teaching is we, when we return uh, to the stream or entrance into the stream. Um, this is where we're gonna go against um, the uh, the worldly consciousness, and that is also the same thing when you listening, and then eventually um, uh, the the entrance uh, entering the stream that we don't even know, and the subject and object. It's gonna release by by themselves, um, uh, and there will be no birth and death. And we continue, and we continue go into this beyond uh, the worldly knowledge. And so when we talking about listener and listen, the subject and object. It's gonna ex uh, they're gonna exhaust by themselves, and this is how you know the practice is gonna take us um, uh, non attachment to to the um, the self, uh, and we get uh, we are not gonna get stuck into the um, subject and object. If we still have this. Um, tiny bit of uh, attachment, then we are not there yet. So the, the cell exhaustion um, is created by itself. Uh, we, we're not going to have this uh, knowledge about how to exhaust it. Just like the patriarch say that, you know, when the when our mind is completely coming to the the awakening state, uh, it's just like the, the space, the emptiness is uh, exploding. So this is um, how you know all the um, the 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 worldly knowledge uh, exhaust and completely um, disappear by itself. And this is how we are uh, able to uh, gain this true uh, virtue. So as practitioners, we we going to continue to ask the question day and night. And this is created, don't know, the don't know mind of uh, the Huato. So this is not the same as the donomai of uh, someone, you know, has a coma or someone, um, you know, has a mental illness. Um, so this is the um, the dono of uh, uh, awakening, the dono of uh, the state of uh, practice. So just like a, a really good student, a dedicated student, who um, really dedicate his time for the, the study. And he basically forgets all about the time, anything happening around, uh, around him. Uh, and he doesn't even know because he really completely focused on, uh, on his homework. So the, the practice here, uh, itself is um is, is based on our trust in the mind so um therefore um we uh, when we understand this um when we reach to the state of awakening uh, this is the cell nature just like the moon I mean like the sun is rise by itself it's only rise but because of the, our 
planet we 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 spin around but the the sun is always there so it's just the same thing with our sun of wisdom uh, our wisdom is always there we just need to return it and tap into it and so we of course we have to trade off for everything every uh, worldly desires so that we're able to return to our cell nature so um this is uh, my message to all of you um in this new year and uh with the practice I'll continue with the practice uh ask the question and and truly truly penetrate into the um the question to create a doubt and uh allow the the doubts uh, arise by itself and this is going to help um, um, us in that dedicated practice. So this is how we able to um, practice correctly. Uh, otherwise, we're going to waste a lot of time, a lot of years without uh, get any uh, fruition in the practice. So right now, if you have any questions or a comment, you uh, Please raise your hand. So um, this key means question is about how she asked the question along with um, all the um, activities going on and she tries to ask the question about how she is able to maintain her question um, uh, and she also has this um, have thought about the strong determination about the uh, birth and death um, and, and sometimes uh, she allows her discussive thoughts uh, grow stronger is override all her strong determination about her death uh, birth and death so this is my wondering you know how can i over overcome this problem so um so basically if you have this thought of um, shame about how you are not able to um, not able to maintain asking the question but allows you know this 
interpret um, our discussive thoughts arise all the time. Um, even though uh, we understand the practice, we know about the, the determination uh, about birth and death. Uh, and uh, determination just in the mind. Um, so this uh, patterns of uh, changing all the time in our mind from uh, discussive thoughts to um, uh, drowsiness, um, to fight against our emotions. Um, this is um, the other side of our mind uh, come from our own uh, attitude patterns. Um, um, so uh, all these uh, patterns, we don't even try to activate them, but they still automatically activate it by themselves. So therefore, we just need to use the same uh, method with uh, our asking the question uh, and allow the, the doubt arise by itself as well. So we're not going to use any other methods to tame uh, our discussive thoughts or get get rid of our uh, uh, hatred, illusion in our mind. Uh, we don't have to fear of our um, discussive thoughts. We only fear that we're not able to maintain our uh, practice. So um, we need to uh, keep maintaining uh, the energy of practice. So like Zen Master like what uh, and he experienced you know his uh, anger that arise in him um, for the almost a whole day. And then he realized that, oops, I have been wasting all the, uh, the, the late you know, uh, offerings for just sitting here and, and get all the uh, the anger in myself or discussive uh, or discussive thoughts. So um, so when we understand this um, and if we have this strong wondering, you know, how we can overcome this um, and then we gonna return to our uh, practice. So, um, so this is um, the story of one of the Zen practitioners, the masters, um, because he afraid that he gonna fall asleep all the time. So he continue walking um, and never uh, laying down and he's just going to continue walking, walking. So uh, within 49 days, uh, he was able to um, attend the enlightenment. So this is his uh, strong determination for, for the practice, for the enlightenment. So, so if we don't have this kind of um, strong consideration, um, then we're not able to uh, prolong our practice. So it's going to be really hard to um, achieve our awakening. So that's this is individual um, dedication. Um, this is our own um consideration always ask the question clearly uh, and uh, practice diligently 
uh, eventually it's going to uh, lead us to the uh, the right path. So does do you understand? Uh, yes, thank you. So uh, yeah, um, thank you everyone. We are running out of time today. Thank you everyone and have a good day. Namo Sakya Muni Buddha.